Hello, so let's learn about naming some alkanes. And for those of you who don't know, um, alkanes are molecules that have carbon and hydrogen. They're unsaturated, which just means no double or triple bonds. So um, I'll only be explaining in this video naming alkanes and just the basics. So I guess those who just have no idea when it comes to naming. All right, um, one other thing you need to know about um, naming molecules is you should know about Lewis structures. If you don't know about Lewis structures, then you shouldn't be watching this video because you'll just be confused. So you need to know what these two things are in order to understand what's, what I'm explaining in this video. You should know about your alkanes and you should know about your Lewis structures. All right, so naming compounds. So an example of compound, I suppose the very basic one to name would be a carbon atom with four hydrogen atoms surrounding it. So, how do we name this? It's actually just strictly based on the number of carbon atoms. So you see, we have one. So there's a lot of memorizing that you need to do when it comes to naming. So, um, yeah, so if you have one carbon, one carbon, then the molecule is called methane. So let's just elaborate. So as I said, um, alkanes only have carbon and hydrogen atoms. So, and they are unsaturated, meaning no double or triple bonds. So as you see here, we only have carbon and hydrogen atoms. We don't see any double or triple bonds anywhere. That's what makes this an alkane. And um, so it will always be a molecule with carbon in the middle, like here is another alkane. Alright, so let me just separate these two, make them look distinct. Okay, so um, yeah, you'll always have the carbons in the middle with hydrogens branching out of it, as you can see in both of these examples. Um, so as you see, there's a different number of carbons. There's three carbons, so would this be called methane? Nope, because methane is the name of a compound that only has one carbon four hydrogens surrounding it. So, um, as I said, there's just a law of memorization when it comes to naming organic compounds. In case I didn't mention this, this is the IUPAC naming system. It's just a set of rules that you have to learn in order to name things. So let's draw methane one more time. Um, so we have our carbon with four hydrogens. So, um, yeah, so we have methane, and if in case you forgot already, it's just only because it has one carbon. Now let's just move to the next thing. So what if we had two carbons? So we draw hydrogens all around it. So we have one, two, two carbons and all the hydrogens, so we know this is an alkane. Two carbons equals methane. So before we had one carbon, that was called methane. And now we have two carbons, and this is called ethane. So um, let's put a third one. So as you can probably tell, this is pretty much just memorizing. But I'm going to elaborate on some things in case they might be confusing you. So we have three carbons. Three carbons. And that is propane. All right, so if you're asking, is it really just simple? Did I just count how many carbons there are? And remember, oh, one carbon methane, two carbons ethane, three carbons propane. Yeah, for now, this is all there is to it. But now let me ask you something. So. As you notice, I've been keeping them in a straight line. I guess you can't really tell for this or this, but here I kept in a straight line. So just as a question, um, would this be propane? Sorry about the messy handwriting. 
Um, so the only thing is, in case you didn't realize, is I just pretty much took this mo this part and just like bent it over. And yes, this is still propane, because all you there is to it is you count the number of carbons. We have three carbons. Three carbons oh, is propane. All right, so you might want to pause during this video. I suppose it's a little late to say it. it's like halfway through, but um, yeah, you just want to start memorizing these um, the names for these methane, ethane, and propane. And the only thing you have to know is how many carbons are in within the molecule. So I'm just going to draw two more really quick, and we'll go a little more. So. We have four carbons next. We have hydrogens surrounding it. So one, two, three, four. We count how many carbon cells are. So if a molecule, oh, I'm sorry, if four carbons have, if a compound has four carbons, what's the name for it? It is called. butane. Alright, and now I'll just draw the one for five carbons. This is something you want to make flashcards for, just so you start learning these new names. You don't even have to draw this whole stupid molecule, you can just write four carbons or butane, because you just count them. Alright, so now we have five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Five carbons, what's the name for something that has, for an organic, for an alkane that has five carbons? The name for it is pentane. Pentane. Alright, so then just real quick, let me ask you a question. So, what would this molecule be called? Hopefully you know. I know I am not the best at speaking. You probably are sort of like, wow, this guy's going way too fast, and I apologize for that. I'm sorry, I can't see it clear. So, um, this molecule right here. So what's that called? So, hopefully you have been able to comprehend what I've been saying. Because then you know, well, apparently all there is to it is I count how many carbons there are. And then I remember that from my flashcards, four carbons, butane. And that's absolutely correct. This is still butane. It does not matter that it has been rearranged in, like this. That as long as the carbons are connecting to each other, then four carbons, butane. All there is to it. So... I'm not going to waste your time drawing every single one, so um, I'm just going to give you the names all the way to 12 carbon, 12 carbons, because that's usually organic teachers don't go beyond that. So we left off at pentane, that was 5 carbons. Oh, I'm sorry, 5 carbons, pentane. Alright, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 6 carbons, that is called hexane. 7 carbons, that is heptane. 8 carbons, that's octane. 9 carbons, nonane. 10 carbons is decane, 11 carbons is, um, huh. um, 12 carbons is, um, dodecane, which one do you remember, what the hell is 11 carbons, I'm gonna have to look that up real quick, I, I think it's undecane, but I don't want to give you wrong information, so let me just search it really quickly. Um, hold on real quick. 
I'm pretty sure it's been decane. So I'm sure that dodecane is 12. So, um, undecane. Yep, it's in decking. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, you just want to make flashcards because, unfortunately, there isn't too much, like, concepts when it comes to naming. There are definitely rules, but this is the as basic as it gets when it comes to naming compounds. So, let's just give you a quick quiz. So, uh, if you haven't been studying, but maybe you can look back in the video, maybe you've been taking notes of how many carbons is what. Name. So, what would we name this compound? We count how many carbons there are, and there are two. That's just called ethane. How did we know it's ethane? Because there are two carbons, nothing more, nothing less than that. So, um, so what if there was a double bond? Would that be called ethane? In case you don't remember from the beginning of my video that um, I just went over alkanes and um, alkanes do not contain double bonds. So yes, this would not be called ethane if there was a double bond here. Double bond car compounds containing double bond their own naming system. Not completely, but it's slightly different. Well, actually, the only it's actually called ethene. But I'm not going to be explaining why it's called ethene. Um, just want you to make sure that you know that if you see a double bond, none of these names are what they are. It's actually, you just change the A to the E. I guess I just did explain it, but I wouldn't bother with that. Just try to first, try to get alkenes down. Just memorize. You really want to memorize this. This is as fundamental as it gets to naming organic molecules. You want to just be able to recall that, oh, this molecule contains eight carbons, therefore this um, compounds octane. Um, one more really quick. So, how many, or <laughs> what would you call this molecule? So hopefully you guys have figured it out by now, you just count how many there are. So do we care that it's all bent up like this? No we don't. All we care about is counting how many carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So what's the next thing you do? You pull from your memory that, oh, if a uh, organic compound contains six carbons, and when I say organic compound, I should really say an alkane, because these are only for alkanes. If it contains six carbons, then I remember from just pure memory that that's called hexane. So did we care how bent up this is? No, we didn't. We just counted how many carbons there are, and we named it. It's called hexane. All right, so before I end this video, I have to admit that I lied a little bit. And don't be too angry with me, it's not, it, I had to in order for this to make sense, I don't know, let me just show you what I mean. So, as I explained, this, um, hopefully you guys are already remembering what this is, this is butane, how do we know it's butane? We counted how many carbs are, one, two, three, four. We remember that four carbons equals butane. Now, so what did I lie about? So let me draw you a molecule, and I want you to tell me the name. Sorry that I'm left-handed. I cover up everything as I write. Alright, so what is the name of this compound? So don't bother, it's not butane. I don't want you to waste your time with, like, oh, there are four carbons, that's what the one kid told me, and that one kid's a liar. But, um, yeah, so 
How can you tell why this is butane and why this is not butane? So, um, when it comes, when I say count how many carbons, you want to count how many you can get in a single line. So here, you can start, you can see that you can make a four streak, like a four carbon streak, by just connecting it. And if you try to make a streak here, like you can't go back. So like, if you start here, you go here, and then you go up. You can't come back down and go right and like, oh, now I have four. So when I say count the carbons, how many can you get in a streak? So here we are able to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and we're stuck. There's no other carbon that we can go off to. So, yeah, so then what is this thing called? So I'm not going to be going to explaining this because I just want to keep it very fundamental for this video. This is like to learn. So um, this is actually, so... We, it's, I didn't like completely, so you count how many carbons you were able to get in the streak. That's propane. So, yeah. But then, what about this part of the molecule? So, in another video, the next video, I'll be explaining about functional groups. And functional groups are just um, parts of the molecule that branch off the streak that you made, the... I suppose and called trunk, because in organic naming they use like to use the terms trunk and branches a lot. Like this is the main trunk where you're able to get into streak, and this would be a branch where it comes off of the streak. And just so you a little um what's coming up, what you would do is this is called methyl, what I boxed. And this has its and branching has its own name, so it's actually um, pretty simple because if you memorize what I've gone over this video, methane, methane ethane, propane, we kind of just change the ending a bit. Um, so methane, as you see, there's one carbon in here. You just change the ending to il. So methane, um, methyl, and it'll be the same for ethane. Ethyl, and that's all I'm going to go into. I don't bother too much with this. The only reason that I showed you this is I just wanted you to know that when I say count the carbons, you just want to um, yeah, you just want to count how many you can get in a single streak. So yeah, that's all there is to it. I'm sorry of how terrible this video definitely was, but um, this is the first video tutoring radio I made. I would definitely appreciate pointers. I'm definitely going to take care of the obvious like. Yeah. All right, well, leave comments, be harsh. I take criticism very well, but please, useful comments. I'd like to be able to help people who are confused. And, yeah, so I would definitely memorize these things if you're new to naming organic compounds, that um, you just memorize those ter names that I've um, given out in this video. Here they are. This is from 5 to 12. I went over um, 1 to 4 before I made this list. And yeah, start making flashcards, start memorizing, start counting carbons in a streak. Oh, wrong people. How many you can get in a streak? Alright, bye.